Hi, I'm Tommy Calloway, and today I'm going to show you how to turn your iPhone into a USB camera for your Mac. In case you wanted to use your camera on your iPhone to get a different perspective from uh, the eyesight on your Mac, if your uh, iPhone storage is full and you still want to use the camera to record videos, or if you wanted to record video directly to your computer with your iPhone while using a separate microphone like the one I'm using in this video. So we're going to use Xcode and we're going to make a little app and we're going to install it onto our phones that just displays the front facing camera on the phone itself. Um, we, and I'll show you why we can't do this with the regular built in camera app. So the first thing we want to do is open up Xcode and do file, uh, new uh, file, new project. Uh, click single view application and we're going to just call this one whatever whatever you want. It has to be a unique name though. Uh, let's call it camera viewer. I'll just call it camera. Uh, put whatever I don't like these things all have to be unique. I would just put your name there. Um, Tommy Calloway it's camera. Uh, so it just, it just has to be a unique name. It doesn't really matter what it is as long as it's not this because another viewer has probably already taken it like myself. Uh, just save it wherever you want to save. Oh, I already have that. Um, cameras. Yeah, so just save it wherever you want to save it. Um, if you have this fix issue thing, uh, make sure you click on it. Pick your own team. If you haven't already logged in with iCloud, just log in with your uh, iCloud account. Uh, it says no devices here. Uh, creating profile uh, requires having a device registered. At this point, you want to make sure that your iPhone is plugged in to your computer and click on it and then click fix issue. And then it's going to resolve any of those issues uh, that you have just run into. Um, <clears throat> so here we are. We've got our, our basic app with nothing really. If you ran it on your phone, it would just be a plain white application. Uh, so I'm going to show you something interesting. Open up QuickTime. QuickTime. And uh, go to File, New Movie Recording. And your iPhone screen will come up if uh, you have it. Well, new movie recording and then you can pick your iPhone as one of the devices here I've already done it so you see my iPhone screen now um, but yeah if you just pick your iPhone screen uh, it's gonna show you what you have on your iPhone and if you tilt it sideways it's gonna go into the sideways view um, and if you wanted to just open up your camera app you're halfway there um, I mean, this, this shows you, let's move into video mode. And so you can see I've got the camera here, but if I were to record the screen and use this microphone that I'm talking into, um, it would still have the interface on the, the, the red button on the side. Um, and I, wanna, I don't want any of that interface junk. Also, whenever I move the camera, sometimes it tilts. So let's figure out how to get rid of this stuff. Let's close that. Um, now let's go to our app delegate dot swift. Um, and so this is the first thing that you're going to need to do. Um, just scroll all the way to the bottom, type extension UI image picker controller. So you're extending the UI image picker controller and uh, just type public override func supported interface orientations oh whoops <laughs> sorry guys looks like I got some lag there um, and at this point you'll you'll probably see that you can just click on it it'll auto complete for you uh, UI interface orientation mask and then you write your code in here just type return return dot landscape that's it uh, hit command s and save that let's move on to our view controller and now 
uh, we need to write our little application here. So let's write our function. Uh, let's write at, well, first we need to add these classes here. So we got the UI controller, class view controller, UI view controller. Uh, we need to add in UI image picker controller uh, delegate. So if you see there, just hit the down arrow and then hit enter and it'll auto complete for you. Add a comma and then UI navigation controller delegate. And you just hit enter when you see it, it'll auto complete. Uh, so here we're, we're already almost done guys. Uh, go down to the bottom uh, before the last curly brace and add at IB action funk, which stands for function, uh, choose from camera is what I'm going to call it. You can call it whatever you want to call it. Um, so let's do let picker UI image picker controller equals UI image picker controller. Enter, enter, picker dot delegate equals self picker dot source type equals dot capitalized camera and go down to picker dot navigation navigation uh, bar hidden equals fall uh, yeah true so you're hiding the navigation bar now and you also we also need to hide the camera controls because we don't want that showing up in our movie recordings picker dot shows camera controls equals false and this is almost it guys we're almost done uh, picker dot camera view transform equals cg a f f i n e c g f e n trans i don't know what, how it's pronounced uh let's see which one uh, trans Form make rotation CG float negative M underscore pi underscore two in parentheses. Uh, this is making it so the camera, rather than being in portrait mode, is in landscape mode. And this is important because if you want to have good quality videos, you don't want them to be vertical portrait videos. Nobody likes vertical portrait videos. Uh, picker dot camera camera transform dot uh, no wrong one camera view transform dot ty so we're moving it on the y axis now uh, because if you just rotated the view you'd have a big ugly black bar at the top and you'll see this if you forget to do this step. I'm on an iPhone 6 Plus, and I had to do it by 250. If you're on an iPhone 6 or an iPhone 5 or an iPhone 4S or something, uh, you may need to adjust this number right here uh, to change to get rid of the black bar that shows up if you don't do this. Maybe it may have to be a little bit more, or may have to uh, be a little bit less. But this is what I had to do: is minus equals 250. So I adjusted the the height of the uh, landscape camera view by 250 pixels. And then we need to present the view, present view controller, picker, animated, true, completion, nil. And so that's, that's our view controller. Let's hit save. Um, and we have our storyboard here and we need to have a way to activate the camera. So if you click this little thing down here, this little circular looking thing, uh, and you filter out the word button, Drop big button right on that guy. Um, and you can make this button look however you want. Let's see, I believe the appearance is right there. The appearance modification options, you can change the font size. Um, tint default, let's make it white. And the background, we're gonna make it a nice blue, I guess. You can change the name of this button, double click on it. I'm gonna call it activate camera, hit enter. And then uh, we can 
add some constraints down here to make it appear in the center of your application. Let's see. There we go. Add two constraints. I don't know. I definitely do not develop a lot of apps. Oh, whoops. Command Z is undo. Um, so I, I guess it's in the center now. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know. I guess that's fine. Uh, we can see what happens if we run it on a simulator. Uh, let's do iPhone 6 Plus. Hit run. You can change the size of this by doing command one, two, or three. Uh, so it's going to run the app that we built. Ah, whatever. Looks like we've got our button now. You can change the size and learn how to modify the user interface a little bit if you want to. Um, I don't really care for that. But you just hit, hit the stop button here. There we go. We stopped it. Command Q. Quit the simulator. Um, and so we need to make this button activate our function. Uh, so we hold the control key or uh, control key and drag or uh, you can also here we go, move it to first responder and then click choose from camera. That was the thing that we made. So yeah, you can also do it if you uh, hold the right click and then move it around. Uh, but you can also do control and click and move. Uh, so now this button should activate our camera uh, so if we try and run this in a simulator, since the simulator doesn't actually have a camera, it shouldn't work. It should probably crash. Yeah. See, the simulator doesn't have a camera available, so it runs this uh, runs into issues with that. So we can close the simulator now. Um, and we should be able to run this on our real phone. All right, so... Uh, we have all we've done our everything we've done uh, so far you've seen so let's just pick our phone from the list of drop down uh, of items all right here we are uh, I'm gonna hit play on the app it's gonna load the app onto my phone cameras it's gonna load it up and here we go We're recording the screen uh, hit activate camera and if it asks you to trust uh, your computer, just trust it. Um, if it asks to use your camera, you can do that. And here we go. We're now we're now recording uh, with the camera itself, um, and that's that's pretty much it. I mean, we're already we're doing what we need to do. I'm recording the screen with QuickTime. Um, let me make sure I showed you how to do that. But I mean, we're pretty much done here. Um, any, anytime you want to use your iPhone as a camera, that's all you have to do. And if it seems kind of laggy or slow, it's likely only because I don't have any light on and the camera is not magic. So you need to have good lighting for it to have the best quality. Uh, it'll be much smoother and higher quality looking as long as you have good lighting. Um, so let's just go through this tutorial one more time. Make sure you got it down. All right. So start to finish process here just uh, so you guys remember it and you get it really easily plug in your iPhone and after the app is already installed on your phone you don't need to click the run button anymore just open up QuickTime and click file new movie recording you can also do it with uh, command option N And if it gives you a hassle and it says the operation cannot be completed or something, just click new movie recording again. Eventually it'll work. Uh, make sure your iPhone is selected in the devices. I like to uh, turn it in landscape just to get ready for it. Um, and you click your app that you just loaded onto your phone. And uh, you're pretty much good to go. You can pick whatever USB microphone you want to use. Uh, or any any microphone. You can even use your iPhone's microphone if you really wanted to. On quality, make sure you've selected high or maximum. I, I usually pick maximum. Uh, but then you can click record, and then you will be recording on your iPhone. Uh, and you can make some really 
you know, trippy effects <laughs> like that. Uh, or you can use your monitor. Well, if it's upside down, just turn it over. Uh, or you can use your monitor as a, as a monitor uh, so you can see what your iPhone is actually recording. Um, and that's, I mean, that's all it is. It'll give you an extra view. Uh, this is what, I, what I'm looking at right now. Um, but if you, now you've got your extra camera. You can use this as a USB mic. Uh, there is like kind of a little hack you can do to use it as like a um, as a camera for like Google Chrome uh, with Hangouts. So let's just set this up here. Uh, you can do full screen by clicking the little green thing to make it you know, little the little green circle to make it a full screen camera. Uh, let's open up Chrome. Go to a Hangout. So we go to a Hangout, a uh, Google Hangout, and usually it shows you the screen that you're looking at right now. Join your Hangout, uh, and then click Share Screen, and pick the screen that you're showing uh, full screen on your camera. And uh, now you have a high quality camera for Google Hangouts. Um, I noticed that you can, also, so you can also do all the features, like if you tap the center of the screen, it'll refocus on your face. Uh, you can also do all the zooming in and out features, so let's get out of that Hangout. Uh, I mean, all the features are still available with this camera mode. You know, you can zoom in, zoom out. Uh, you can focus on different things if you want to. Uh, but primarily, it works great just as a separate camera. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to them for you. And congratulations if you just developed your first iPhone app. Uh, no, I did not put this app in the App Store uh, because it does have some hard-coded variables into it, as uh, such as the 250 number that we use to move the iPhone screen or the camera screen up. Um, but if you wanted to, you could possibly publish this into the App Store. Uh, I don't care. Feel free to use what I showed you. Um, I hope that it got, you know, that I got you to think a little bit. Smash that like button, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Um, and tomorrow I plan on going out to a friend's house and burning some thermite, uh, melting through some hard drives. Uh, it's it's going to be a really fun shoot. Uh, please subscribe and you'll get notified on that video. Take care, guys. Have an excellent day.